just looks even more like a bear. Now when you see me kind of vigorously rubbing the puffs and stuff like this, I'm, again, I'm stimulating them and playing with them. This isn't the cuddle time, this is uh, getting them used to being handled and roughed up a little bit. And same thing that you see them doing with each other, I'm kind of doing with it too, and they learn to associate that kind of play and stuff. And they are freaked out then later on when people handle them a little, a little roughly. And it's all part of getting them used to different things, you know, handling their feet, you know, these aren't going to be dogs that are going to freak out when you cut their nails or anything like that. Again, I can mess with their mouths. You, you don't see this puppy struggling or freaking out with me doing that. Most, most puppies would freak out. And again, it's all the benefits of that early neurological stimulation. And again, I, I can do that with any of these puppies. And I show this stuff not because I'm like trying to brag or say my dogs are better than anybody else or anything like that. I'm showing this because, you know, again, over that two week period where I was doing these exercises with these puppies every day, I mean, it, it took 20, 30 seconds a puppy to go through it. And you can already see, again, some of the benefits. This is a dog, if it has something in its mouth, I'm not gonna have a problem opening its mouth and taking something out or having to deal with its feet or anything else. And again, every puppy in the litter can do that. If more people did this, there'd be a lot less problems with dogs being, you know, overphobic about that kind of stuff. And again, I, I just wanna help people produce better dogs that are more adjusted. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't get any benefit by showing this. Uh, I'm not selling any of these puppies, so I have already got homes for most of them. And the other ones, you know, I'll be placing with people. N none of these puppies are being sold for money. I'm more interested in finding good homes for them and helping to further and develop the uh, Lycan Shepherd project. So again, that's my motivation is just to help people produce better dogs and to help people create dogs that are that are better adjusted and happier, which, which means that they're going to be better pets. Again, it's you can do this with any dogs. It's just a matter of taking the time to do those tests. I hope you've enjoyed this. Big black females. And again, when you see me picking them up and holding them like this, I'm getting them used to being held in different positions. Getting them used to being handled and played with. This this isn't cuddling, this is stimulating them. And I'm getting my ankles really chewed up. She cutie. Got another one. Uh, this is Mr. Mato, the black male. Again, you can look. I can do pretty much anything I want to these guys. Look how relaxed they are, and that's all because of that early neurological stimulation. Another one of the black females. And you can see they're getting bigger every day. And again, look how relaxed they are. And my toes chewed up.
again, every puppy. Totally relaxed. Able to do what I want. I can rub and handle their feet. Their tails. Again, this is what you want to do with that early neurological stimulation. And this has lifelong effects. These are going to be much more compliant, easy to handle dogs because of just those two weeks of uh, stimulation we did with them during that critical period. Right here, you got the honey badger. This honey badger don't care. <laughs> She's been a fighter her whole life. From the time she came out, I think she could be a special little dog. Ooh, they're getting my toes good. <laughs> He's also a grunter. Oh, Miss Ruka, is that? Oh, that's Kratos. Here's Miss Ruka. She's huge. Again, every single one of these puppies. Ouch. <laughs> They're tearing my feet up. And of course, Mr. Kratos. Look at the size of him. Again, look how relaxed they all are. Start to think maybe Ulu uh, ran into a bear in the woods when we had her out and uh, I didn't know about it. These guys look like little teddy bears. <laughs> Look, every puppy, I can do this to. Look how compliant there. Again, look, I can mess with his feet while he's upside down. Pull it on his tail. Again, that's all the benefits of that early uh, neurological stimulation.